walk through a question that is the pathophysiology of hypertension. A patient presents with the diagnosis of primary hypertension. Which physiological mechanism is primarily responsible for the development of essential hypertension? Is it A, which is overactivation of the renin-angiotensin-aldosterone system, or RAAS? Is it B, excessive production of catecholamines, or is it C, decreased renal perfusion, and lastly D, increased parasympathetic tone? Here, the correct answer is going to be A, overactivation of the renin-angiotensin-aldosterone system. The rationale is A is correct because the RAAS does play a very crucial role in blood pressure and its overactivation leads to vasoconstriction and think about your mechanics. So less room to move, you need more pressure to get it through. So therefore, vasoconstriction and fluid retention, both major contributors to hypertension. Now, B is incorrect because catecholamine overproduction can cause transient elevations in blood pressure, but not primary. It's not the primary mechanism. Now, also, C is incorrect because although decreased renal perfusion is typically associated with secondary hypertension, it's not associated with primary. And then D is not correct because increased parasympathetic tone would generally lower blood pressure, not elevate it. Remember as a test-taking tip to focus on understanding the primary mechanism behind conditions. This will really help you to identify what you're going to see in the physical assessment, what kind of pharmacology you need to employ. Just remember that this is something that you can do because RAAS, for example, is a pretty well-established player in essential hypertension. Good luck.